also what's needed in this season as it pertains to becoming mended and blended is understanding that in order for you to know what is needed for your family or for that child that you are supporting in their mending and blending process, you're going to have to be in, in right communication with God. Your posture is going to always have to be in a place where you are opening up your mind, body, soul, and spirit to receive, thus saith the Lord, to receive what he needs you to impart as his living vessel, as, as, as he used Joseph to impart into him, um, and to impart, impart into Jesus. God gave it to Joseph. Like we can assume, use our Holy Ghost imagination and then assume that he had to give Joseph the insight and the wisdom needed so that Joseph and so that Mary did not, uh, so that they did not mishandle the assignment and end up messing Jesus up, you know, and keeping him from being able to fulfill the ultimate assignment, which was for him to be the, the sacrifice for us, for our sins. <clears throat> So when, uh, as God was showing me that and how he was, you know, just telling me like, you know, with understanding your placement, know that you are in addition. Step parents, we are additions. We are not replacements. We are additions. We are the ones that are there to readily support. And if we want to help, if we see that there is a need, we have to ch begin to change how we go about meeting that need. I can speak firsthand. Um, I know for me, I, I'm a doer, so I would just do it. If I see something going on, I just do it. Like I'm not thinking about how I could be enabling, not thinking about how I could be offending, and not thinking about how it was not my place. But what is my place is to say, okay, Lord, I see this need for this child, for my child, for my additional child, and I want to know how you want me to go about meeting this need. Do I need to go about it through prayer? Do I need to go about it through deed? Do I need to go about it through conversation? Do I need to go about it through um, through physical or through embrace? Like, what is it that you require of me with this need you're allowing me to see? And I promise y'all, when you begin to operate rate in your <clears throat> rightful place as a step parent and understand what your assignment is to your family to that child because we have different I believe we have different um, assignments to each of our children in different ways but for specifically if you are a step parent in order for you to um, when you start to understand your your assignment y'all look the phone done fast she's that <laughs> good and pale all right in order for you to understand your assignment or when you understand your assignment you will approach things in a, a healed in a whole place and let me tell you being a step parent it is going to bring out the good bad and ugly of you of your of the child of the parents of the situation it's going to bring all of that out but you got to be in a place where you're able to even receive what you're going to see or what God is going to reveal. A lot of times we want God to reveal. We want to be able to make things better or to fix, but we're not in the rightful place to even be able to receive the revelation. And so that's essentially what God was dealing with me concerning knowing your placement as a step parent. You're not to replace. You are to aid and to be a resource and to be a safe space and to help cultivate conversations and to ensure that your stepchild and your spouse um you know to ensure that they have the supports that they need while we're mending and while we are blending